Okay, so my last video is like, so we're talking about a period, a period. So we're talking about the birth control, the birth control, the book of book of book of book of book of book of birth control, a birth control, book of book of book of down, birth control. I have no life, like, I don't, I, I don't, I just don't. Hey guys, what's up? Simply Sasha Foam 4 here, and today I have a brand new video for you guys. And I'm really excited because this is about birth control. That's right, birth control, one on one, kind of, um, a little bit of information about it, and a little bit of my experience with it. And yeah, I'm really excited. But before I get started, I just want to put a disclaimer out there I am not a doctor, I am not prescribing you a pill, I'm just giving you some information on some birth control method and why people use it and what's it for and kind of what's in it and yeah so that's what I'm doing and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video so let's get started let's go let's go this way okay so I if I'm looking down I'm looking at my book I have some notes here to make sure I don't leave anything out or I don't forget anything so we're gonna go ahead and get started thumbs up if you guys like this background um I'm trying to switch it up I don't know and my bed is kind of a mess so that's what I did my room's not a mess my bed is it has a lot of junk on there but yeah tell me if you like this background if you don't I'll go back but if you do we'll switch it up you know what I mean okay so birth control what do you use birth control for is basically one of the biggest questions or one of the questions at most asked and the number one the number one answer probably people might go to is pregnancy, which it is yes for pregnancy. A lot of people go on birth control to prevent getting pregnant, but that is not the only reason why. Another reason why is to make your periods regular. Some people have really, really irregular periods. I had kind of irregular periods, not like um, it'll come once and then not come for three months, not that kind of thing, but it just come really, really, really randomly, like more than the usual randomly, I feel. And it can also make your period lighter. Um, a lot of people have heavy flows, so it can also lighten your periods. It can help ease PMS. A lot of people get PS PMS symptoms like mood swings, you know, get all emotional, um, be irritable and things like that. And it can help eliminate that or ease them. And also it can help your skin, which is another popular reason why teenagers sometimes go on birth control. It can help clear up your acne and things like that. So those are a few reasons why people get on birth control now i'm going to go into the different methods there are different methods um one is the birth control implant which is kind of kind of like um an implant that they put in your arm and it goes like right here they also have the iu the iud um kind of implant i have pictures of stuff but yeah they also have that then they have the birth control patch which i've seen before it's kind of like a big not big it's kind of like a little not tiny but a small like band-aid like a bandage kind of band-aid and it can go in different spots or different sections of your body and that can also pre prevent um, pregnancy and help with skin and all that good stuff another one is a shot which is another popular one the shot um, you take once every three months and it helps prevent pregnancy and help with your skin and all that good stuff too and then the NuvaRing, which I had talked to a friend today at work actually, and she told me that she's on the NuvaRing and she likes the NuvaRing because she can basically control when she has her period. Um, it's something that's inserted and you can keep it in for three weeks and then take it out and then start a new one, or I guess you can keep it in for as long as you want. I'm not too sure if I find out exactly. I'll have some information on the screen for you guys. But yeah, she says she likes it because, you know, she can control it because she says she got her periods like for eight days at a, um, when she did get it. So, you know, she can have it for, she controls it for having it for three days and then puts another ring back in. And then one of the um, popular ones also is the birth control pills, which I am on. I am in the combination pill. Um, so I'm going to go into that right now. Birth control pills are small tablets that you have to swallow every day. You have to take them every day at the same time. And it's very important to take them at the same time because you can have, if you're on the birth control for um, reasons of not getting pregnant, you want to make sure that you take it every day at the same time. Because if you don't, you could get pregnant, which makes sense. Um, the pill contains two female man-made, um, what is it? man-made hormones which is estrogen and progestion and those help to thicken your cervix line to make sure that sperm doesn't get to an egg also the progestion pill which is the pill which is called the mini pill sometimes and that 
is a little, I guess, less stronger than the combination pill because sometimes people can't handle both hormones. They can only handle one. Um, with that pill though, you would really make, you would really need to make sure that you take it every day at the same time because with the combination pill, if you miss a day and then, you know, you take it when you remember, you kind of have like a little space or a little, um, I guess wiggle room you won't it won't affect you that much then on just the mini pill which the mini pill if you miss a day that can be you could be pregnant like soon like that day I'm just kidding but it just it's just more important it's really important on all pills but it's really really important on the mini pill if that makes sense yeah. these are my pills they come um they don't come in this but it comes with this and I keep it in this little case and with my pills i keep them at home in my drawer because i come home every night and i take my pills at night um that's another thing you want to pick a time where it's good for you when to take your pills that you remember um you can take them in the morning because when you wake up and you brush your teeth you can put it right next to your toothbrush or you can take it at night when you're back before you go to bed um i take it at night because it's when i come home i eat and things like that and i get ready for bed i take it and it goes straight to sleep sometimes it can cause me to be a little nauseous so i take it at night and i also set my alarm i set it and then it reminds me every day to take my pill so yeah this is how my pill comes it comes in this little it stays in this little blue thing or if I'm going out and I know I'm gonna be out past the time I'll keep it in my wallet so it fits really easy and things like that it's like as big as my hand this is basically how it kind of looks this is my pills I take them for three weeks and then this is the like sugar pills which you don't have to take but um, you take to keep you on track so you know when to take your next pill and they just look like this and they're really tiny I had a problem with swallowing pills I have like a phobia for swallowing pills but um this helped me kind of get over that so now I'm really good at kind of swallowing pills kind of good I don't want to brag but just a little bit but yeah so these are my pills. a lot of people when they are on the pill they kind of have to go or when they start going on birth control they kind of have to go through a bunch to find the one that fits for them I was kind of lucky I didn't have to uh, the first one was a good pick for me um, and I'm really glad it was because yeah some people think it's kind of annoying to take a pill every day and at first I thought it would be but actually it's not if um, you kind of focus on the reason why you're taking it it doesn't feel like a bother because it's either helping or preventing something from happening or helping something happen um, it wasn't annoying and then now it's just kind of like oh, I have to take a pill uh, to me so yeah if it does annoying then you can try the shot but with the shot is if that shot doesn't really work for you um, you have it has to stay in your system for three months so you can't just stop the shot so yeah my doctor recommended that I start with the pill first but yeah they say starting out on the pill when you're first starting out birth control is better so you kind of get an idea of what works for your body and things like that that is the end of my video I hope you guys enjoy I hope I didn't go too fast I hope that was very informative for you guys if you guys have any questions and want me to do a part two you can leave your comments down below or I could just answer them in your comments and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and if you have any requests Leave them in the down bar below. Also, go follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Those are my two main social network things. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. But, yeah. And I also have a um, Twitter. So, you guys can follow me on there. And I love you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Hey, you guys. What's up? Simply Sasha 404 here. And today, I have a new video for you guys. And I know. Pause. Hold up. Like, Sasha, you're not just gonna waltz in here and act like you haven't been missing for about a month. I know. Well, 